The Kenya government set ablaze about 15 tons of contraband ivory as it joined the rest of the world in marking the World Wildlife Day. And this is the third time Kenya has burnt illegal ivory since 1989. Now, Kenya's President Uhuru Kenyatta says the move is meant to send a clear message to the world that his country will never allow the trade of products from endangered animal species. New figures indicate that about 20 to 25,000 African elephants are killed across the continent each year. In order to underline our determination to eradicate poaching, my government shall burn the rest of the stockpile that we have within this year. We hope that the rest of the world will follow our action in the same manner. Our message must remain clear. Many of these tasks belong to elephants which were wantonly slaughtered by criminals. We want future generations of Kenyans, Africans, and indeed the entire world to experience the majesty and beauty of these magnificent animals. Poachers and their enablers will not have the last word in Kenya. Well, let's put some perspective now on that action by Kenya's government. And I'm joined in studio by Mr. Gethoi Kamweti. He's a program officer at the Africa Biodiversity Collaborative Group. Uh, thank you very much for joining us on the program. Now, this is the third time, though, that a Kenyan president has burned ivory as a way to stop the trade of ivory. Is this a sign, though, that the war against poaching has been ramped up? And realistically, will this action discourage poachers? Oh, thank you for having me. Um, well, I think it's a good gesture, it's a good move to uh, burn the, the ivory. It does, it does send a signal that uh, 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 to a certain extent we are serious um, because we can't argue with the fact that uh, you know, burning 15 tons uh, it, it, it is a lot of money. It's, it's about uh, $30 million in terms of retail price. So uh, in that aspect, it is, it is um, a, a move. Uh, but the, the best thing now is actually to take further steps. We are in the right direction. We need to take further steps. And, and actually look at our own house. Um, and I'm talking about our, uh, our ports, uh, seaports, airports. This is where the, the, the crux of the problem is uh, in trying to, um, uh, trying to clean up, uh, especially our issue with, um, with, with corruption in our public uh, institutions that is, is, is frankly a, a menace to, to the country. And without dealing with this uh, significantly, right. we can't uh, help um, uh, make significant steps in, in reducing poaching. Well, that whole question, though, of human wildlife conflict has often been an issue in, in, you know, in the killing of wildlife, though. How much of an impact, though, does that human wildlife conflict situation have on the wildlife numbers itself? Yeah, yeah. It's actually interesting. It's a growing problem. It's been a, a, around for a while. It's a growing problem. It's actually in lockstep with another issue facing our country, and that is population growth. Um, as you know, Kenya is, is, a, is a country that's uh, largely agrarian uh, in its uh, livelihood, in its economic um, um, mainstay. So uh, there's an immense pressure for land as, as uh, the population uh, uh, blooms. And inevitably, this, this, this uh, encroachment goes into wildlife habitat. And that's where you find the exposure to wildlife and, and vice versa. The wildlife is exposed to humans, and you get the tragedy. So there's been significant loss of wildlife, uh, particularly through uh, activities such as agricultural uh, expansion, settlement, uh, infrastructure development. Um, uh, for example, in, in Machakos right. has seen significant declines. All right. Uh, of course, though, Gethori, it is Environment Day, but the focus particularly here in Kenya has been on wildlife. Uh, what other urgent environment issues, though, are we facing particularly as a continent? Indeed, it is. It's a day actually to celebrate because not only is it African Environment Day, it's World Wildlife Day, and and and, and a special day for me. It's a Wagari Madai Day, um, a, 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 a true inspiration to this country. Um, basically, she she is. Um, I kind of think of another uh, um, a hero to inspire our youth um, uh, for 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 the work that she has done and legacy she has left to show our youth the the, the hope that we have. But on envir other environmental issues, I must mention our forest resources. Um, uh, we've seen immense degradation of, of forests like, such as Mao and Charangani, and, and uh, forests are just a treasure trove of services, uh, as we call them, ecosystem services that need to be valued, need to be quantified. And that's a challenge I gave out to our economists in Kenya to show us uh, beyond uh, uh, timber what uh, true value our forests have. 
Others include climate change. Um, uh, Kenya, has, to our credit, has taken positive steps in, in, in drafting a climate change adaptation uh, policy framework. This needs to be implemented uh, for our agencies, our public institutions, and for the benefit of, of, our, of our people, especially uh, our, uh, past, our um, farmers. And, um, and, and I'll be remiss to not to mention, again, the, the land tenure issue. We've taken steps there with re land reform. Uh, there's much more to go. But also, you know, half the population of Kenya is, uh, 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 is, 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 wim is women and, and girls. The, the, the gender issue also needs to right. be brought to the table um, as another uh, issue that we need to, to address. All right, Gidoy, I'll just take you back briefly because you did mention, of course, uh, the, uh, Wangari Mathai there as, as it being a significant day for you as well. And for Kenya, of course, today being Wangari Mathai Day, just how significant has that been for the country? Well, like I said, um, um, I, I, I'm hard-pressed to think of another a true character with a true cause uh, uh, and, and her, her, you know, with her values in the right place. Um, um, uh, the, you know, the children and uh, our youth need to understand that, um, you know, uh, uh, to look at um, uh, our natural resources, our wildlife, not just as own, owned by the government, but, but owned by us. Uh, we, we are, this is our uh, uh, legacy, our, natu our national and natural uh, uh, resource. It's our legacy. And, and so um, having, having such an ex exemplary figure uh, to, 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 uh, to, to learn from, uh, especially in a country like Kenya that's so dependent on natural resources, is, in, is invaluable. And therefore, we should celebrate this day. We should celebrate uh, by going out there and just doing your part in, in, uh, in, in conserving the environment, be it planting a tree or, or just talking to your neighbor about um, you know, what can be done to, to not pollute our, our rivers and, and, and cut down trees. All so, right, uh, Gethoi Kamweti, the program officer at the Africa Biodiversity Collaborative Group, joining us here in Nairobi. Thank you.